Uh, g'day everyone, my name's Rob, the call is VK5SW and I'm located in Adelaide, the capital city of South Australia, uh, VK5, at the bottom of the country. Um, nowadays, uh, operating in, in suburbia in a city like here in Adelaide is just horrendous uh, on amateur radio because the background noise level on the radios is just um, out of this world. Here where I live in Adelaide, the background noise level on, on the radios, um, on just about all HF bands is uh, up around S9, strength 9. And it's caused by a number of things like power line interference in particular here at this location, and televisions and all sorts of uh, uh, sources of electromagnetic radiation. Um, so to be able to operate remotely nowadays with the advent of the internet is such a great bonus, such a, a fabulous thing to be able to do. And in, in my case, that's what I'm able to do here in Adelaide. Uh, we have a property out in the country about 100 miles from here, 150 kilometres away, uh, up in the Riverland area, um, uh, near a town called Morgan. We have a, a small property up there. Uh, which is absolutely out in the middle of nowhere. It's uh, very arid, very little rainfall. Uh, but the beauty of it is that the reception on amateur radios up there is terrific because um, it's just dead quiet. The background noise level up there is just dead quiet. It's just terrific that way. Uh, so firstly, I'd like to show you uh, what the reception is like here in Adelaide, where I live and uh, then I'll show you the reception on the remote radios up at, up at the property. Uh, so hang on a sec. Uh, so this is the ham shack here in Adelaide at the home QDH and I have a small um, amateur radio here, transceiver, it's the Yaesu FT450D and I'm just going to turn it on so that you get some idea of what the reception is like here. In suburban, in suburban Adelaide. Okay, so you can probably hear that noise. <laughs> it's um, if I can get up there, it's uh, strength eight to nine on the S meter. That's what it's like on just about all bands. It's just horrendous. And the only time it's a little better than that is after it's rained, uh, when some of the power lines here have been uh, wet through. Uh, that's when it makes a difference, but that doesn't happen all that often. So most of the time the background noise level is around strength 8 or 9. Just no good at all for amateur radio operation. And over here are the remote rig systems, the remote rig black boxes. At the moment we're using this one here. Um, so um, the way I have it set up is that I have each of these remote rig systems, the black boxes at the bottom there, are connected to a separate computer. Uh, so this one is connected to an IC7600 at the property, and this one here, uh, which isn't in use at the moment, is connected to an IC7300. And we're going to use this one here, the IC7600. So they're each can connected, as I said, to a, an individual or separate computer. That one's connected to the 7600, the ICOM, and that one there is connected to the 7300. So, okay, we'll just come over to the screen here and uh, we'll connect to the IC7600, if I, can, if I can see what I'm doing. I've already turned the radios on. Oh, not the radio, it's just the one, the IC7600. So I just have to sign in. And one, two, three, contact. Now it's connected. That means it's connected, as you can hear in the radio. Now we're just going to bring up Ham Radio Deluxe. Going to connect to it, connect to the radio. Okay, this is the IC7600. Uh, I think we'll go to 20 meters and have a listen. I 
going to turn off the audio there for a minute just want to show you something about the IC7600 uh, this is a pretty old radio really oh, I've had this for probably eight or nine years now and um, it hasn't missed a beat it's been so reliable really good uh, but one of the features about the IC7600 is that it has two antenna sockets in the back of it on the back of it and so you can you obviously can connect two antennas to it and um, Here's a uh, feature on Ham Radio Deluxe where you can change from one antenna to the other just by clicking the icon. And it's very uh, very handy. So you can go, obviously, from one antenna to the other. And you can also um, uh, tune the antenna. I won't, won't at the moment because um, there are people on that frequency. But uh, I'll just uh, go somewhere else. Hang on a sec. There's four, four bottles in it. Hey, that 50 kilometre return trip. Uh, Bobby. Oh, there's someone. Oh, he sounds like an American. Okay, well, I gave him a phone call. That dirt, that, 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 that's funny, isn't it? Well, hey, look, you know, these, these paths are very, very narrow and very undefendable. Uh, Cecil, if you're tapping, we're going to Echo Lake. Cecil, if you're tapping me, we're going to Echo Lake. Uh, so I'm gonna, uh, let's keep the radio on, we'll just like to echo link up, uh, Rick. Stand by, Rick, k 5 ms Yeah, okay, you should see me, Bob, I'm already there. I'm already there, Bob. Uh, k 5 Mike Sugar, BK2Z Fox, standing by. Okay, I gotta get over to the computer, stand by. Oh, well, that just gave you a quick idea of what the remote radio system is like here. Um, it works really well. It's a 4G system and um, it operates uh, well. Of course it's a a, uh, a wireless internet connection at the radio end because the property has no available internet connection apart from a wireless one and that's about 10 miles away from the city of Morgan in the Riverland area and uh, between here in Adelaide and Morgan in the country it's about uh, uh, it's about a hundred miles away so that's a fiber optic cable between here and and the, the town and about a um, that's about a hundred miles away and the uh, wireless connection is about 10 miles so you'd so you could say that we have 90% uh, fiber optic cable connection and 10% uh, radio or wireless connection up there. Anyway, that gives you an idea of um, how things work. Um, uh, there, there's information available on my website at vk5sw.com uh, both on setting up solar because the station up there is run by solar power and uh, also operating a ham radio station uh, remotely uh, via the internet. 73 from the land of the kangaroo. 